You guys are headed down the mountain the way that you came up it. The city of Hortyvord looms in the distance. Oh, that kid, that little dingleberry. Bingleberry. Have I called him a bingleberry? Guys, have I called him a bingleberry? Uh, I don't think so. Don't Darn it. Bingleberry. Bing Help me remember that. I gotta call him that the next time I see him. Bingleberry. Paul, I think the spirits might be protecting Bingle. Pro they're not protecting Bingle. Come on. No, we saw them, Paul. They were down there and they tried to kill us. There was just an old guy and that girl, Sasha. You spooked yourselves out. Look, I know we said we were going to leave them alone, but we can't walk away from this. We got to go back there and get that kid. If we take him by surprise, the old guy's never going to know what hit him. Paul, I'm not going back there. Larry! No, I'm never going back. Do you see me? I'm never going back there. Yeah, count me out. No more mine stuff. No more underground. Ever. I'm only good above ground. Oh, come on. The tunnels concentrate your wind power, I'm pretty sure. That's how it works, no. right? No, I don't know. They box me in. I don't like it. I don't feel safe. I'm not going back in. There were evil things in there. Well, what are we going to do? He's up there. We're down here. We just wait for him to finish his training and then come back to Hortyvord. We're like, hey, Bingle, you want to pick up where we left off? Maybe we can lure him out here. What, you want to write him letters? Oh, I know. We could do something that kids like. Like, uh, make him some ice cream. Or, um, oh, he really likes that Sasha girl, I bet. What, the farm girl? Yeah, he's a young teenage boy. And she's a girl. He's got to be interested. Maybe a honeypot's a good idea. Oh, or we could do a carnival. Kids love carnivals. Elvis, what do you mean we could do a carnival? What, do you want me to just conjure up a carnival out of thin air? Your mother goes, why not exactly? What do you mean, why not? Like, carnivals don't just happen, mother. Well, they got to start somewhere. You know, when I was in the Water Nation, we came up with all kinds of clever tricks to get to our enemies. See, they used to communicate with these light towers up and down the mountains, and we had to get to as many of them as we could. Well, you didn't do that as a carnival, Mother. What, do you think we didn't do the traveling circus bit? I probably still remember how to draw on some clown makeup. What, you and Dad? Well, your dad did the clown stuff. I was an exotic dancing girl. I bet I still remember some of my old moves. God. So I'm, I'm hearing that carnival might be on the table. No, it's asinine. We're not doing carnival. But Paul. Elvis, but no. Paul, carnival. We could do carnival. No, I really want to no. do carnival. <laughs> okay, all right. How do you envision carnival? Okay, Larry makes water slides, and then I'm going to go out in the woods. I'm going to get myself some kind of animal, like an exciting animal, like a, like a bear. A live bear? I could do water slides. Are you seriously buying into this? Yeah, water slides would be easy. Temporary ones, at least. All right, so so water slides and a bear and, and, and what? We could round up some musicians. I could see if I've got some of my old clothes. Okay, musicians, maybe. It's at a city. There's got to be tons of vendors that would want to make money at a big event like that. Yeah, who doesn't love a carnival? Everyone would go there. It's the perfect cover. Well, okay, but let's let's look at my honeypot idea, right? We get some girl, she becomes Bingle's pen pal, and then, you know, boom. Trap springs shut. Yeah, but then we have to pay off the girl, or pretend to be a girl. Are you any good at writing romantic letters? Because I'm not. I'll write the romantic letters. Well, come on, I would be the one writing the romantic letters. Seriously, you? Yes, me. You couldn't write letters to the father of the Winter Festival without complaining about mom. Bingle's gonna figure out that you've got hang-ups real quick. Did you read those? Yes, you listed what gifts you were supposed to get in them. Of course I read them. They were supposed to be for the father of the Winter Festival. So I'm hearing carnival. Oh my god. Then what's the worst that could happen? We waste some time building water slides and, like, Bingle's not coming down anytime soon. It'll be fun. <sighs> also, he'll never expect it. Who would expect us to throw a carnival to catch Bingle? The Dark Lord will also love that as a story. If you explain that's how you caught Bingle, I guarantee you guys are getting... Uh, probably medals, honors, invited to every party. That is a conversation starter. <sighs> All right, fine. We'll do a carnival. Yeah, carnival! Okay. Oh, actually, that means I'm going to do work. Yes, you're going to have to do work. Aside from making the rides or whatever it is you're going to use to attract people, you're going to have to get in touch with the regional minister. He should theoretically own all the land in this area and can give you permission to set up camp wherever you need to. Also, Bingle might run off. That's a good point. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Elvis, you go back up in the woods and you keep an eye on Bingle. I'm not going back in the mines, Paul! Yeah, okay, shush, 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 shush. Don't go back in the mines then. Just just watch from the treetops, okay? If you see him, then we're fine. We just need him to not be gone. Larry, you get to work on the water slides. Actually, water slides? You're up here in the mountains and there's snow and stuff. Are you sure water slides are the way to go? Uh, slides. Regular slides, we'll get some paper or something, and we'll just let people slide down on that. You want me to build a carnival's worth of slides? You are the one who was all about carnival. Look, I'm going to be the one doing the promoting. I'm going to talk to the, the regional minister or whatever. 
Okay, there's there's a lot of work to do between the three of us, and we need to start building up. I can't just make slides. I mean, I'm a military engineer. I know how to make bridges and they're stuff. They're slides. They're just, they're slopes. How hard can it be? Just make some slides, Lowry. What if I make them too steep? Slides, Lowry. They just go down. Just make some tubes that go down. <sighs> Fine. All right, Elvis, get out of here. Now? Yeah, go up there and make sure Bingle doesn't leave. If Bingle leaves, then we gotta leave too. Uh, but I haven't got any sleep. Neither is Bingle. Can you tie a hammock into a tree? But I'm, I mean, I guess. All I... right, tie a hammock into a tree, catch some rest, then make sure that Bingle doesn't leave. Try to wake up before he does. Okay. This is what you get for Carnival. Lara, you scout out a place, start building your slides, I'll get the permits while you're working. Someone's gonna get angry. Who could get angry at a carnival? Come on, you're making funnel cakes and slides. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be earthquakes and stuff. Someone's gonna notice. Okay, all right, I'll start with the regional minister. I'll get it under control. Don't worry about it. Just just start with the groundwork, the quiet stuff, and then slowly work your way up. All right, fine. Can I sleep on the way back down? Yeah, get your rest. You're gonna be working hard. And what about you, Mr. Big Top Leader? You're right, Mother. I should get some sleep as well. Well, then who's gonna mind the horse Noceruses? Mother, I am so glad that you volunteered. We need you to do it. Me? Yes, and then you can sleep all day, I promise. Uh, fine, I'm just gonna do it till we get to the city. Thank you, Mother. I am so glad I brought you with us. Uh, well, you guys get to sleep. When you wake up, you're in the city of Hortyvord, except for Elvis, who has broken off from the group and is sleeping in a tree. Starting with Elvis, because there's not going to be a lot going on with you for a while, you wake up, you head back up the mountain, you find a nice tall tree to check out the mines from, and then there, off in the far distance, you can see Bingle practicing his waterbending with that mountaineer guy. Well, there he is. And there he's going to remain for some time. Lowry, you're going off into the wilderness, I guess, to find some space? Yeah, go away from the city, but not, like, too far into the city. Also, I'm going to walk there, and I'm going to walk really slow, in the hopes that whenever Paul gets this permit, I'm going to be able to say, oh yeah, I got the permit, and it'll already be clear. All right, you take the scenic route out to the countryside, not far from the city. You find a space that looks kind of like a clearing. Paul, where are you going to go first? Well, I'm going to find out where the regional minister is, and then go to his office. Yeah, okay, there's a castle kind of up the mountain a little ways. It's a nice defensible position. You head up there and uh, go through the front entrance where the public is supposed to be. Receptionist says, hello, how can I help you? Yes. Hello, I have an exciting business opportunity, but I'm going to need permission from the uh, regional minister. Is he available? She goes, do you have an appointment? Uh, unfortunately not. When would he be the first available? She pulls out some files and she starts going through them. She goes, uh, let me see. That's a funny accent, by the way. Are you from down south? Oh, me? Uh, I've got family over kind of by the frontier region. Well, because it's kind of a cute accent. I mean, we don't hear that a lot around here. Oh, thank you. Are you staying long? Uh, well, just for a little while. I mean, for, for our business stuff, uh, we're, we're going to do a carnival. Do you like carnivals? Oh, I love carnivals. Is it going to be a big carnival or a little carnival? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be great. Gods, I bet it would be. You wouldn't come up from the south if it wasn't going to be a big carnival. Isn't that right? Yeah, I mean, you know. You can't fool me. That's a city accent. You're from the dark capital, aren't you? You know, I went there once when I was a little kid. It's a beautiful place. I always hoped I could go there again. Oh, oh really? Uh, so, you know, you don't, like, resent the the Dark Nation for attacking the Water Nation or well, anything? Well, you, you know, uh, I have family with a lot of opinions about that, but that was when I was little. And we're getting along now, right? Yeah. I suppose we are. You know what? You're a, 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 a nice lady. I <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like... Um, Everybody ought to well, think like that. How do you like Hordy Word? Well, it's it's great. I've been really thinking about looking into the chocolate. I hear you guys are famous for it. But uh, about that appointment, though. Oh, yes. Actually, you're lucky. The regional minister is available right now. I'll let him know that you're looking for an audience. All right. Thank you. Thank you. She leaves for a little bit, then comes back and says, you can go right on ahead. He'll meet you in his office. All right. Great. Okay, Lowry. You're not too far out of the city. You find kind of a nice clearing. You start doing, like, what? I guess start planning out foundations for the slide. Like, I'm just going to make a slide. It just goes up. So I'll box out some stuff. All right, you got people on the roads and everything. I mean, it's a busy city, so as you're boxing out slides, people stop. They're all kind of watching. Uh, hi. Man at work here. Some guy in the crowd goes, what you building? Oh, uh, like a big slide for a carnival. Are we having a carnival? Yeah, next week. Big carnival. Oh, well, I've never seen anyone make a slide before. How do you do it? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 like engineering. So right now I'm just figuring out the basics like, um, 
you know, you're going to need four corners for the supports and then uh, a slide part. And uh, the small crowd all watches expectantly. You know, why don't I show you a small one? I'll, this is going to be one of the kids' slides because I stamped down my foot and raised like a tiny slide up out of the ground. It's real manageable. Good for kids. Okay. So is it just like solid stone underneath the slide? Like I assume, yeah, you know. Yeah, for this little one. I think if I did that for a really big slide, the slide would actually sink into the ground. I'm not sure the limits of my powers. Yeah, here. you're not all powerful with stone. And yes, physics will, will cause this stuff to fall apart if you're so, not yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the gist of it. It's the basics. You're going to make some taller ones? Yeah. Yeah. About how tall? Well, I, I was thinking I'd, um, you know, work my way up, start with some medium sized and then and then a really big one. But how many paces is the big one going to be? Uh, I'm going to look down the clearing and I'm going to try to follow the hill. You know, actually, yeah, that would be good. Then I wouldn't have to slope. I wouldn't have to make it really tall. I would just follow the slope of the hill. Oh, yeah. No, if the slide follows the hill, you could get it going down a really long way. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to start up here and then just go all the way down that hill until I get to the very, very bottom. Are you kidding? Yeah, the very bottom. Well, what happens when you get to the end? You'll be going so fast. Uh, that's a good question. I'm I'm going to pulverize the dirt, make it really soft. So when you land, it'll be like falling into a, a bunch of blankets. There's kind of a murmur of approval from the crowd. And now they all wait for you to start working on this really big slide that you promised. Okay. I guess I start raising up a slide and then walking down this hill, making more slide as I go. Down you go. It is actually a really long hill, and it is a lot of work to get all the way down there. You are just about dead exhausted. Sweat is dripping from your brow. Uh, you're not sure how much more slide you can do after all that work. Uh, also, a lot of the crowd didn't follow you down. They, they kind of seem like, um, you know, it was cool watching for a little while, but not cool all day. <sighs> Whew. Okay, that's one slide down. I hope nobody wants to go up this hill because th that's going to be a problem. Yeah, going up actually is going to be a huge problem. The terrain is rough. There's all kinds of foliage in the way. <sighs> okay, all right. Shake out my arms. I'm going to make stairs to go up. All right, and you begin molding stairs into the side of the hill all the way up the way you came. Oh, man, I'm so glad I'm already rich or I would be really upset about my pay. Okay, and Elvis, you're just out there in the woods watching Bingle. He's learning waterbending in miraculous amounts of time, but aside from that, it is boring. What are you going to do to fritter away your time? Uh, you know what, after a while, Bingle's not going anywhere. I'm going to help with the circus. You know what a circus needs? A live animal. I'm going to go find the biggest wild animal I can in these woods. The biggest? The absolute biggest. I mean, I'm going to search the air, high and low, biggest animal. Okay. All right. Uh, you, you probably spend a long time searching. I mean, uh, the biggest animal is hard to find. There's lots of smaller animals, you know, like bat coons and meese, which is like a combination of moose and mouse. But eventually, you find something very, very big. Something brown and furry shuffling around in the woods. You get in one of the treetops up above it, and you recognize it as none other than a boar. Part bear, part wild boar. One of the biggest, most temperamental creatures in the entire known world. Oh my god. It's perfect. People will be amazed by my amazing wild tamed boar. In fairness, if you can so much as get it into a cage, people would be amazed by that. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to jump down there and I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to roll animal handling. Let's see how that goes. Okay. That is not a skill you have training in, so you have to roll an eight or less to succeed. Yes, good. I'll figure out what I do after I roll the dice. Here we go. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, a three. Uh, Crit success. Well, suffice to say, you utterly tamed this boar. Uh, how, tell me how you do it, Elvis. Oh, man, I was hoping you would know. Okay, um, I don't know what boars eat. I guess I find a bunch of whatever the boar eats. And then slowly, while I'm watching Bingle, I just keep finding this boar again. And I'll just keep feeding it more and more of this stuff that it likes until eventually it trusts me. Like, how long am I going to be out in the woods? I'm just going to keep feeding this boar until we are friends. This is my boar. I love him. Okay. Yeah, that's plausible. Uh, yeah, you keep finding this boar over and over and over again until eventually the boar starts seeking out you. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is a happy, well-fed boar thanks to you. What it likes to eat are squirbits. They are part squirrel, part rabbit. Like, imagine rabbits that live in trees. I mean, you easily hop from tree to tree, so all you've got to do is get up there in the trees, catch a few squirbits, then toss them down. Eventually, one day, you take that big risk 
and you hand feed your bower a scorbit. And he takes it and he doesn't bite your arm off. I'm going to name him Potato Soup. Potato Soup the bower. Okay, that's going to be over the course of several days. Okay, Paul, the Prime Minister meets with you. He welcomes you in. He says, hello, welcome, welcome. I understand you're trying to throw a carnival and you're from the Dark Nation. Oh, yes, uh, I am in fact, but actually my carnival service travels the globe. We have avoided the Water Nation up till now because of, uh, you know, border conflicts, but we hope that maybe that'll be past some of your younger clientele. Well, that wasn't that long ago, only about 30 years. In fact, they occupied some of our territory. I did hear about that. Um, but I can assure you that no finances will get anywhere back to the, the Dark Nation. I can guarantee that. Well, I would hope not. Okay, tell me the details. Well, we've got some of our own entertainment, uh, slides and things like that. But actually, what's fun about our carnivals is we like to tap the local environment. You know, the nearby people to provide their own concessions and stuff. So actually, it's a huge boon. All your local vendors get to participate. They make a lot of cash. And then, of course, you get to take a certain amount off the top. And, of course, the reason I come to you is because I'm looking to pay you, let's say, 10% of the gross. Oh, 10%, eh? Yes, sir, 10%. And when are you planning on throwing the carnival? Well, here's the thing. Next week. Next week? Are you out of your mind? Yes, we're on a very tight schedule. and We have to move on pretty quickly. No one will even hear about it. You'll be gone before they arrive. I, I tell you what. 10% of the gross, or 10,000 water currents. Whatever's greatest. He seems to kind of relax. And he goes, okay, so you'll give me 10,000 currents if you don't earn that much in 10% of the gross. Absolutely. I expect at least 100,000 in income, or, uh, you know, we consider it a failure. You're going to raise all that in a week? I was thinking more like over the span of a single night. He leans back in his chair and he thinks about it. And he goes, I'm going to need a down payment. Uh, of what? The... 10,000 water currents? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. If I'm going to get paid 10,000 water currents no matter what, then you should be able to pay them up front, right? Uh, yeah. Because you've been successful yeah, in the past. Yeah, yeah, So successful. Uh, guaranteed. 10,000 water currents coming right to you. Uh, I am going to have to wire some of those funds, though. They're with my banker. Okay, then fine. You have a deal. All right, great. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong. But if I don't see a cent to those currents before the thing starts, I'm going to shut it down. All right, that's reasonable. I understand. Let's go ahead and shake on it, and I'll sign your papers, whatever's got to be done. Okay, you guys exchange some paperwork, and there you go. Okay, first thing I do when I get out of there is go to the cart and talk to Mom. Bang on the door. Mom! What? Mom, wake up! What? Oh my God, you said I could sleep all day. Uh, so, a uh, small problem. I, I just promised the mayor 10,000 water currents. 10,000 10, water currents? Yeah, but I said I'd wire him the money, so can we get that up from the estate? You, are, are you kidding? You want me to, you want me to send 10,000 worth of, of Darkos up to this town? He's got to exchange the money. You can't just drop a bunch of Darkos uh, in his uh, lap. You know, all right, fine, Mom. Forget it, forget it. How many currents do we have? Wait, wait, a couple of hundred from selling off some of the things we bought before we came up here. All right, great. I'm going to need it. What are you going to do with all of our money? I'm going to catch Bingleberry, Mom, and I take the purse. You better. All right, where are you taking it? To an artist. I'm going to walk in through the front door. Hello, is anyone here an artist? I'm looking for an artist. I need some posters. Uh, an old guy gets up. He goes, it's me. I'm an artist. Sir, I'm going to need about a hundred posters. Real simple, like a little stick figure holding a, a, like a plate of bread or something. Says Carnival, this Saturday. All right, when do you need them? Now. Now? Yeah, now. I've got other customers I can't do now. How much will it cost for now? Oh, a rush job, eh? Okay, uh... Well, that'll be double. Okay, slap down whatever money I've got. Is this enough? Will that pay for it? He kind of looks at it. He goes, all right, a hundred posters of stick figures holding bread. Yeah, yeah, come on. We're right now, right now. Okay, he starts to work. After he's got about ten of them, I'll grab them. I, I just need these for now, okay? You keep working. I'll come back for the rest. Head down to the nearest bakery, walk in, approach whoever's behind the counter, and say, uh, hello, sir, madam. Do you own this establishment? The lady in the place says, uh, no, that would be my husband, but I'm his wife. Uh, how can I Well, help I was you? just wondering why we hadn't heard back from you about the upcoming carnival that's happening just outside of town. She looks a little surprised. She goes, a carnival? Yeah, it's happening next week. Uh, I was curious because, uh, your competitor down there, point out the window, um, we understand that they got a booth, and the thing is, though, that we actually don't have a lot of bakers coming out, so... I was a bit concerned if we only had a few that, that there would be a monopoly on the pricing, and that wouldn't be good for our customers. So I thought I might interest you in a, a better deal. She goes, uh, I, I don't think I heard about the carnival. Uh, when, when is it you said next week? Yeah, we sent out flyers everywhere. Well, I didn't get a flyer. Uh, 
Darn it, I'm going to kill that delivery boy. Well, no wonder we didn't hear back from the bakers. I'll bet he tossed a bunch of the flyers and didn't even deliver them. I don't have a piece of his mind. Uh, well, okay, look, we're in a little bit of a bind, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to waive the fee on the booth, uh, at least partially. I'll cut you down to 50%, only, uh, let's say, 50 currents for the booth, and we provide your own, you know, booth. Well, next week seems like awfully short notice. Well, it's going to be a huge shebang. I mean, we've got so many tickets sold already. Uh, I'm sure you'll sell out. Uh, how much have you got here? Well, we would normally try to prepare a little in advance for a big event like yeah, this. Yeah, well, I mean, I understand if the company across from you is, is uh, set to take over, I guess they're set to take over. Well, that's a shame. I mean, heck. Well, hold on. Maybe I can talk to my husband. Give me just a minute. She goes, she gets her husband. He comes out and he says, what's all this about a a carnival next week? Yeah, apparently my delivery boy did not get you guys the flyer. Uh, We got some of them around and some people haven't been hearing about it, but uh, we got a bunch of tickets. The place is going to be packed and I was worried we don't have enough bread vendors. We must have missed a good number of you guys, though, so I'm confident I can find someone if you can't make it. Uh, But I'm just curious, though, would you like a booth, half price? 50 currents. The guy kind of looks at his wife and he furrows his brow and he goes, uh, it's a little short notice, but, uh, okay for half price. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, great, great, great. Give him a flyer. All right, that's got the event details on it. You see, we got the stick figure for readability. Even the kids love it. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. You guys will be at booth 1A. 1A? I thought you said you filled them already. Yeah, we number them randomly. So you're 1A. Lucky you. Here you go. Bingo. Make a little note on one of the sheets and keep it in my pocket. 1A. All right. uh, You've successfully roped someone into providing confections. At least one person. Yes, and I'm going to spend the whole rest of the day doing this to every other shop I run into. No matter how many times I'm told no and how many actual successes I get. Uh, Now, half price, you, madam, you're exactly the type of beautiful woman I need. (laughs) Sir, no one makes better dinghies than you. Uh, you do have the trade skill, don't you? Yeah, I can fast talk these people. All right, that's fair. You you spend the whole day and, uh, you know, who knows, then some working on this. All right, in the evening, meet up with Lowry. All right, Lowry, by the time the sun is starting to set, you, you've got all the stairs up. You are dead exhausted. You are going to need to sleep, but you're going to sleep like a rock. <sighs> <sighs> hey, Paul. Sweet slide. That is great. I see we got one for the kids and then one great big one for the yeah, adults. Yeah, yeah. Uh. No water on them, right? No. Oh, although I've been thinking, you know what we need? A tunnel of love. A tunnel of love? Why? Okay, I've been thinking about it. Bingo's got that thing for that girl Sasha, right? Well, get this. A tunnel of love is a dark, secluded place where no one can see what you're doing in there. You might be making out with a girl. You might be getting kidnapped by agents from the Dark Nation. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can see that. That's how we get Bingo without drawing a commotion. Okay, a tunnel of love. I'll put that on my list. Uh, Also, we're going to need about, like, uh, 50 booths for people to set up their shops in. Well, who are you going to get to make booths? That's all you, my friend. We got a week. A week? But, Paul... Now don't give me that! Come on, let's get some sleep! We got a big day tomorrow. I gotta go out and do more of this. Somehow, I gotta make 10,000 currents in a week, Lowry. I haven't even started selling tickets yet, okay? Speaking of, how are you going to get people to buy tickets? Uh... Mom! Hey, Mom! Bang, bang, bang. What? Mom, you said you could do clown makeup, right? Yes, I said I could do clown makeup. Okay, could you take the cart and drive around dressed like a clown and really hype up this carnival? We gotta get people there or Bingle's not gonna believe it. Are you kidding me? You said you could do clown makeup! You're gonna make me do all the marketing by myself? Mom, I'm getting the vendors, come on! (sighs) All right, fine. I'll take the cart and I'll make the kids laugh and stuff. Great, great. I'm gonna find some people to to take tickets. Okay, so within the week, you find people to take tickets, you find a bunch of vendors, you announce all kinds of carnival stuff, advertising. Yep, and Lowry builds all the booths and all the rides. Pa, please, I'm so tired. I I I can't build anymore. Lowry! We need Bingle to feel like he's missing out! Come on, buddy! Keep going! Oh, I'm gonna be too tired to catch him when we finally get him. I'm running on four hours of sleep myself, man! Come on! All right, the end of the week begins to draw near, and stunningly, it looks as though you've done it. Uh, you do, unfortunately, not have 10,000 currents. You've only got about 7,000 currents. But fortunately, that is after subtracting expenses for hiring people. Oh, wow. Promising 10% of the gross or 10,000 currents was truly stupid. Wait, you promised him 10,000 currents? Yes, well, I wasn't sure exactly how much a current was worth. I figure, you know, it's Water Nation money. It's probably worthless, right? Is, is that a lot, 10,000 currents? Well, I only charged 50 for the booth, so I, 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 I hope it is. Wait, then, then who's getting ripped off, us or them? I have no idea. Elvis, you find your way into town. 
There's flyers put up all over the place about the carnival, so you have no issue finding the place. You're there with your new friend. Hey guys, check out who I met in the woods. Oh, oh, my, oh, dog, oh Lord my god, Elvis! What? It's okay. He's on a leash. The boer sniffs you menacingly. Yeah, but what's the leash attached to, man? His name is Potato Soup. This is gonna be the best circus ever. 